So in a nutshell, you have a random piece that falls. Your job is to find the best spot to place it. Once you feel a line, it disappears and your score increases. Hmm, sounds easy enough. Let's start with rendering an arena. For the pieces, we can represent them in a matrix. We can start with the T piece, and I guess we should add an extra set of zeros at the top for when we are going to rotate the piece. So now draw the pieces in our arena, and we can do a set of nested for each iteration to loop through the values and draw a red square for all the ones. We've successfully drawn our first piece, but we can't really see it because it's so small you literally have to zoom in to do so. So to make it look bigger, we just need to scale our canvas like let's say 20 times. To be able to move our piece, we need to add an offset to our matrix iteration code, which is basically a value we can add or subtract from our starting points. We also need to make it variable. It's going to start piece position and the piece itself. This is more or less like a way to actively identify the movable piece in the game. We also need an update function to constantly loop through and update our game state. But by default, the speed of the animation is way too fast. So we do need to add some extra calculations and time manipulation to slow it down. For the controls, left and right are pretty straightforward, but down movements not as simple because automatically we always want the piece to drop. So I guess we can create a method that does just that. Call it in our update function and also in our down controller. Now we need a way to store current data of our game. This is needed so we can easily detect when certain events happen like a piece gets placed or a line is filled etc etc so basically we have to create a matrix that's going to represent our arena and fill it with zeros now our data matrix is kind of empty so we first need to merge it with our game then we call our merge method in our player drop method so every time the piece drops we merge it with our data fantastic next phase is checking for collision the way to approach this is we iterate through the values of the squares around our piece to so first of all see if it exists and if it does whether the value is not equal to zero this is true that means we've collided with something and we return true and if it's not that means there is no collision and we return false we then use our new function in the player drop method and if we collide then we move our player back once because remember we're doing this after we've dropped then lastly we reset the player's bike position to zero so for example if we collide with the bottom of the arena we get a new piece and of course the same for when we collide with other pieces as well but it's a bit of a problem we shouldn't be able to move past the left or right side of the arena so to fix this we can start by wrapping up our left and right movement in the method and in that method we increment the player's exposition by the direction given while we also check if it collides with the arena if so then we move the piece back one square with this we can never move away from the arena Stop! next thing to implement is rotating the piece to rotate a matrix we first of all need to transpose it which is converting all the rows to columns and the columns to rows then afterwards we swap the rows to get a rotation you can also add a piece rotate method that takes a direction as an argument and calls the rotate method for us then of course we add it to our controls and bind them to the a and d keys okay now the game starts to feel a lot like tetris except it's a bit boring because all the pieces are the same this is easy to fix, I guess we just add more pieces to the list and store them in an object. Then we can also add a create piece method that takes a type argument and add conditions to check what type the piece is and return its corresponding piece. And I think we should also add a reset method. We create a string variable of every possible piece, then set our player dot matrix to a random piece and change its position back to the top of the canvas. And last but not least, we also want to add more colors for other numbers when we draw our pieces. Oh, I almost forgot, we also need a way to clear the pieces when a line is filled. Um, we could just add a new method to do this. Um, we can start by looping through the arena matrix, but we're only going to be looping once because we only interested in the rows of the matrix then we check if there are any rows that don't have zeros in it if that is true then of course that means that line has been filled so we simply remove it on the matrix and also add a new row filled with zeros at the top of the matrix to push the game down and we increment our score value and that's tetris i decided to polish it by adding a ui at the side to tell what the next piece is going to be and also the score at the bottom it's pretty easy to do so i honestly can't be bothered explaining it i did drop the source code in my github for those that want to you know try out the game or just mess around with the code yourselves all right all this talking is making me thirsty i'll go get myself a drink so do me a favor get out of here yeah.